Hello everybody, I'm Manuel from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I'm an ENR professional and I'm trying to learn a little bit about uh, music production, you know, to have an overall view of how music functions in general. This is going to be very good for my profession. So today I'm going to teach you a little bit more about in audio interface. I have here a Focusrite interface, it's called Scarlett 1i181. So it's a basic interface, audio interface, uh, just for home studios, but it's a, it has a good quality, okay? And I'm gonna teach you about the general uh, features about it. So first of all, an audio interface uh, is good is was created to convert uh, the analog sound an analog signal that comes from the microphone or a preamp or a, or an instrument so it converts the analog digital to uh, it converts the analog to digital so the interface is the kind of gadget gadget who makes the conversion uh, of the analog to the digital uh, sound and from from your microphone you have the analog signal it comes into the interface and then it goes through to the computer via a USB cable okay where the sound is going to be recorded where you'll be able to work with it so here we have the input for here you can use an uh, XRL cable for microphones or you can use a TRS balanced cable or a TS unbalanced cable okay here is the gain knob where you are gonna you're going to adjust the gain of the instrument or microphone uh, which you are using here is the phantom power 48 volts uh, which is used for con um, for condenser microphones. They need power, so you need to turn it on in order to provide power to the condenser microphone. Here you have four inputs. Okay, we have four in total. It has eight inputs. We have four more inputs here. Here you have the mute uh, button, just in case when you insert your cable, your plug or when you take it out just to avoid clips and pops here you have the uh, the general monitor volume control where you're, you are gonna control the, the volume to the monitors just in case you have monitors maybe or maybe you can monitor through uh, directly through your headphones uh, which is better you won't have much latency and here the, you have the volume knobs to control the, the volume of the headphones. Uh, on the back of it, you have four more in inputs for line. Remember for line unbalanced, uh, unbalanced cables. Here you have the output to the monitors. In the case you have monitors, so you have two inputs. Uh, here you have the USB cable input. Here you have two MIDI inputs just in case you have old synthesizers or a keyboard you have you can use MIDI uh, as well. And here you have the on and off button and here uh, there are the in and out uh, the in and out connection just in case you want to to connect a mixing board, a mixing board to the interface, just in case you want to equalize uh, equalization EQ, or just in what in case you want to plug many instruments in the mixing board, and you then you just pass them through the interface, and then it goes to the computer, so you have more options to use more instruments. So it's good sometimes to use a mixing board, uh, depending on your case. So. This is the interface, a basic one, but a good one, low noise, so I really recommend. Bye, see you.